drive with me as I take a drive through tour of Sun City Summerlin. That's what I'm talking about today. I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And right now, I'm on my way to take a drive through tour of Sun City Summerlin. And I've done several videos on Sun City Summerlin. If you want to learn more information about this community, I just thought I would just do a quick video drive through of this awesome 55 plus active adult retirement community. And Sun City Summerlin actually is one of the first Dell Web communities here in Las Vegas, and it is one of the largest retirement communities in Southern Nevada, with about a little over 7,400 homes. So we're going to drive through it. We're going to. Sun City is in three parts. There's the, the newer Sun City, the middle Sun City, and then the, the older Sun City. Sun City was developed between 1989 and 1999. So right now I'm driving on the freeway, about to get off on Lake Mead, and I was heading 215 north. I'm gonna get off on Lake Mead and head east. And Sun City Summerlin is in the 89134 zip code, which is super close to Summerlin North. You have the Trails Village and the Hills Village close by, and then also Pueblo Village. But Pueblo is in the 89128 village. So we're gonna head east right now. And hopefully you can see the views as I'm driving. The reason I like Summerlin North per se than any other community in the valley is because of how wide the streets are. It's a Saturday. I don't know if you can see on my camera. I'm trying something new where I, I have a DJ Osmo action filming while I talk. So as you can see, the streets are wider. It's not that crowded hardly ever. Um, it's a Saturday right now hardly any cars. So Sun City Summerlin has four communities, centers, look how pretty that is. At night when you're coming down, it's gorgeous. We're going to go tour the newer part of Sun City Summerlin first. So I'm taking a right right here heading south on Thomas Ryan Boulevard. And on Thomas Ryan is Eagle Crest Golf Course and then also the Pinnacle, which community center is that? The Pinnacle Community Center. I don't know if you can see it a little right there. Whoops, I just, <laughs> whoops. Driving and talking is not good for me. Um, so I've done a video on each of the different community centers and one long, huge Sun City Summerlin video that I took a tour of each of the community centers. I really like the newer part of Sun City Summerlin because of the views that a lot of these homes have. It's just absolutely breathtaking. Price ranges, I would say mid 200s to the million price range. And the HOA fee is about $138 a month. Now, if you do live in a townhouse community here in Sun City, you will have to pay an additional HOA fee. But the good thing about living in a townhouse community is that you don't have to maintain your front or backyard. Um, if there is issues with the paint, the HOA community takes care of it. So um, I think the new phase was developed between 95 and 99. I could be wrong. I don't remember offhand. I'm just like going off the cusp of my memory. It's a pretty nice face. Um, I'm going to take a left here on Anasazi. And then actually, actually I'm going to flip around and we're going to go down the hills in this community. This is a beautiful sight. You can see it. It's beautiful. So Sun City Summerlin, like I mentioned before, has four um, community centers, five pools, two of which are inside, and each of the community centers has a gym, except for I think Shadow Mountain doesn't, but most of them have gyms, and regardless of what part of Sun City you live in, you have access to all the amenities. There's over 100 clubs, there's sewing, woodworking, art, clay, ceramics, 
quilting, you name it, they have it all. And the reason I like this retirement community the best is because of the options, all the choices you have. A lot of the other retirement communities are not as grand as Sun City Summerlin, so you don't have as much amenities as this community has. Plus there's three golf courses, there's restaurants. Um, it's just an overall awesome retirement community. And if I were 55 or older, I would definitely choose this over any other Summerlin community. So we're gonna just look at some of the houses here. Obviously they're all single story homes very well maintained yards and the price is pretty affordable most of the homes here are two bedroom homes some of them <coughs> excuse me are three bedrooms however I think three bedroom homes are a little uh, more pricier they're like up in the 400s and above some homes you can get awesome views some homes are on the golf course this is a golf course community <coughs> Let's see, where am I at? Oh, back to Lake Mead. So we're gonna continue on, go in a different entrance. And again, the reason I like Summerlin North is just there's nobody out in the roads, regardless of the time of day, there's hardly any traffic. It's just awesome. Now, if I go further down on Lake Mead and once I hit um, past Rampart, actually past Buffalo, that's when the traffic happens. But for the most part, Sun City is between the 215 and um, Rampart and then on the other side of Lake Mead. So if we're coming down, it's on the north side of Lake Mead. And if we're coming up, it would be on still on the north side <laughs> but to the right is Summerlin North the trails and then the Hills Village and to the left is Sun City Summerlin so I'm taking a left here on Anasazi which actually turns into um come on hurry up where's it turn in Sun City it's not a gated community but you they do have a visitor center right as you come into the entrance So Summerlin has four retirement communities. Uh, there's Sun City Summerlin, there's Siena, there's Trilogy, and then Reverence. And I've done a video on each of those communities and I've also done a video on all four of the communities in one video. If you're interested to learn about the different retirement communities in Summerlin, I'm also doing a video on all the retirement communities in Las Vegas, Henderson, and North Las Vegas. So stay tuned to that video. One day I will be posting it, if not already. So we're coming up to another community center here, and we're now in the second phase of Sun City. Um, let's see, I always forget, I should know the names of everything as much as I'm over here. I like to take clients out, we drive around and go to all the different community centers. This one's the De Desert Vista Community Center. Thank you. It's a golf cart community, so if you have a golf cart or if you're thinking about buying a golf cart, I advise you to do so because you can drive around. Um, to the left, which you probably can't see, is the Desert Vista Community Center. But again, I mean, just look at this. I love it. I'm going to take a right right here. I have some clients that bought a house up in here. and They have awesome views. Taking a right on Childress, and their views are just beautiful. They are, they have all the city views. Their house faces the, the city, strip views, I guess you would say. It's really close to the mountains. When you walk out your door, you can see the mountains. Very quiet. As you can tell, there's hardly any cars parked in the streets. Very seldom you'll find a car parked in the street. And if there is a car in the street, it means someone's either doing yard work or visiting. Look how close it is to the mountain. 
passing face. It's very clean. Again, over 7,400 homes. It's its own little city. A lot of people love it because of all the amenities that this awesome community has to offer. Let's see if I remember where my client's house is. I should stop by and say hi. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, no, I don't think it's that one. I'd be able to recognize Huh. Hmm. Hmm. I must have passed it. Crazy. That's weird. How did I pass my client's house? Let's see. Let's go down Fayus, and then now we're going to head towards the other two community centers and, um, the first phase of Sun City Summerlin. Again, this was developed in 1989, started development in 1989 by Del Webb, and it's the first Del Webb community here in Southern Nevada. And Del Webb has about seven or eight, I think it's eight now, um, retirement communities here in the Valley. I would say five of them are probably in Henderson, <laughs> only one in Las Vegas, Two in Las Vegas and then one in North, two in North Las Vegas. So five, six, seven. My math isn't right there, so somehow I'm wrong, but let's move forward. And another thing about the Northwest is actually um, how elevated it is. It's on rolling hills. I think it's, uh, how about the elevation up here? I think it's 3,000 feet. Yeah, it's 3,000 feet elevation. So it's pretty high up here. It does get a bit windy, more windy up here than anywhere in the valley just because of how high we are. But the temperatures are a lot cooler up here as well. Just food for thought. A lot of people think, oh, it's so far away from the Strip, but who wants to be close to the Strip? I could care less. I mean, I rarely go to the Strip, if any, at all. Um, I like where I live. It's close to downtown Summerlin. Downtown Summerlin is about 10 to 15 minutes away, depending on how fast you go. Uh, and downtown Summerlin, there's Red Rock Casino, National City Arena, Las Vegas Ballpark, and then the downtown Summerlin Mall. So now we're passing uh, one of the golf courses, which is Highland Falls Golf Course. And each of the golf course also has either a tavern or some type of food place that you can eat in. And then also next to Highland Falls is going to be uh, another community center. No, actually that's a different one. Better make sure I'm going the speed limit, 35. I like how they have the flags out everywhere. Fourth of July is fast approaching. Let's see. Now we are, did we pass it? No. I hope this is going to work out with my new little uh, DJ Osmo action and me filming. I thought it would be kind of an interesting concept, a different take on my whole video game. <laughs> uh, we're fast approaching an area. I forget what street it is. I think it's Del Webb. And 
right here, uh, we're approaching, there's a CVS pharmacy on the right side, and then to the left, there's some banks. It's just like a little shopping center that the um, community members can come visit. And then to the right is Del Webb, or the street straight ahead is Del Webb, and to the right is another main entrance coming into the community off of Lake Mead. I'm gonna take a left right here, and we're gonna continue on our drive. approach another golf course. If you love to golf, then this community is for you. Let's see which one this one's Palm Valley Golf Course. I mean, even though the homes were built in 1989, a lot of people um, have bought, flippers have bought in here and flipped. A lot of the homes are more modern now. Now this is the Mountain Shadows Community Center. And this one's, I think the largest one, or this one has more options when it comes to arts and crafts. It has the pool um, and the gym here. Again, all the community centers have pools. There's a couple churches in this development as well. Um, so we're in the first phase of Dell Webb's when they first developed 1989 and like oh that's what I was getting to is even though they were built in 89 they're still in excellent condition excellent shape a lot of um, original people no longer live here so a lot of the homes have been flipped and remodeled but there are still some homes that are very original very outdated um, obviously maybe you can get a better deal on that here's a church right here it's a Lutheran church uh, thankfully it's very cloudy out today and I'm able to drive around and do this video and then coming up is going to be the sun shadows this one has the big indoor swimming pool can't really see it because of how my camera is but we're actually finishing up the drive of Sun City it's a pretty big community this is a Presbyterian Church it another little shopping center right here to the left it's a Tuesday morning a bunch of little offices and then I think this is like some kind of um, hospice or healthcare facility rehab facility to the right and I'm exiting right now onto Rampart that concludes the drive-through tour of Sun City Summerlin let me turn my other thing off I hope you enjoyed this drive-through tour. It's not much, but at least you get to feel and see how this community is laid out. If you're thinking about buying a home in Sun City, Summerlin, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. Or I've posted a buyer form link down in the description below. Leave a comment. Also, what you thought about this tour, about um, Summerlin in general, or any retirement communities the Valley has to offer. As always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share this with a friend, and consider subscribing if you're interested in learning everything and anything that this Las Vegas Valley has to offer. Thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.